Silly Cycle Ciliamet CPAC Operation Tutorial. This video showcases the steps for optimal use of the Ciliamet CPAC lab scale. Ciliamet CPAC components, inspection and assembly, system flush and conditioning, solution treatment including flush solvent purging. Ciliamet CPAC components, Ciliamet CPAC housing, housing base and ball, metering valve outlet, pressure gouge, bleed valve, inlet component, relief valve, Ciliamet CPAC cartridge. Step 1. Inspection assembly. Inspect the pre-assembled unit for loose fittings or damage. Verify that the pressure gouge indicates 0 PSI. If the gouge does not read 0, please contact us. For further information about solvents, please refer to Silk Cycle Information Brochure. Separate the housing base from the ball. Select a cartridge. Insert cartridge into the base with a slight rotating motion using light pressure. If the test cartridge is difficult to insert, moisten cartridge o-ring with compatible solvent. Reassembly. Insert the housing base into the ball. Rotate clockwise until snug. Be careful and avoid cross-threading. In most cases, hand tightening will be sufficient to seal the base to the ball. If leakage occurs, a strap wrench can be used to tighten further. When housing is used to test an acidic solution, apply a single wrap of Teflon tape to the base thread to protect it against metal galling. Step 2. System flush and conditioning. In this section, we will flush the system with compatible solvent. Pump from inlet to outlet. Secure the housing assembly to a laboratory ring stand. The air bleed valve should be at the top of the assembly. Remove the metering valve. Disconnecting the metering valve is important in order to prevent possible residues from obstructing valve opening during conditioning. If ever the metering valve is obstructed, use air or nitrogen to flush or blow it out. Make the proper connections to pump. Insert the tubing from the air bleed valve securely into a suitable container. Container will collect the fluid exiting the valve during the air purging. Connect tubing from pump to psyllium at CPAC inlet. For added safety, connect relief valve between pump and inlet. Place container directly under psyllium at CPAC. Fully open air bleed on top of the module. Set pump to desired flow and turn on pump. Watch for test liquid exiting from bleed valve. Close bleed valve upon liquid discharge. This is indication that all air has been bled from system. In this example, pump at least three actor volumes of solvent through the system. System flush and conditioning will be completed upon collecting solvent in the container. Cilium at CPAC cartridge will retain some of the solvent. Remove container and discard solvent. Reconnect metering valve to the housing base using the adjustable wrench. Make sure that the valve is installed correctly. Ciliamet CPAC cartridge and system are now conditioned and ready for sample treatment. Step 3. Solution treatment including flush solvent purging. Solvent used from the system flush and conditioning step can be removed by blowing down the system with pressurized nitrogen or by chasing it out with the test solution. To judge when the flush solvent has been removed, measure the amount of flush solvent required to fill the tubing, pump and housing. Then, discard that volume at the start of the test solution run. In some cases, observing a color change associated with the test solution displacing the flushing solvent can serve the same purpose. Select the most suitable psyllium at CPAC method. Method 1. Single pass. Method 2. Recirculation Method 3 Multiple sequential passes Method 4 Two cartridges in series Set pump to desired flow Fully open bleed valve 
Turn the pump on and watch for test fluid exiting from the bleed valve. If the pre-wash solvent hasn't been removed, it might take only a few seconds. Close bleed valve upon liquid discharge. This is indication that all air has been fled from system. Over the course of the test run, additional gas produced due to degassing from pump action can accumulate in the housing. Periodically, this gas should be removed through the bleed valve to favor an even flow distribution through the absorbent cartridge. After closing bleed valve, closely observe pressure gouge. Pressure could increase slowly. Immediately shut off pump if pressure increases rapidly or exceeds recommended pressure. If no blockage is identified, consider feed material characteristics. High viscosity or high solid content can create pressure difficulties. Pseudocycle recommends that users pre-filter test solutions containing a large amount of insoluble solids. If pressure and or flow are not in target range, slowly adjust valve and or pump settings as necessary. Step 4. Stepping the system. Once the process is completed, flush the system with fresh, clean, compatible solvent. When no more liquid is collected from the outlet valve, turn off the pump. Disassemble the unit and gently remove the cartridge with a slight rotating motion. Discard the cartridge and wash all the parts with compatible solvent. For more information about the SillyCycle Cilium at CPAC family, visit our website at sillycycle.com.